All right, it is almost 11 o'clock already. Um, late start today because it was raining all morning. Uh, and I was supposed to stop by now, but it hasn't. Uh, so I was hoping for drier weather because I'm having trouble with this rain gear. I lose so much flexibility that getting on and off the bike alone is, is a real challenge right now. Dropped it earlier in the parking lot. But anyways, all right, so the, the plan for today is to ride from Butte to Salmon, Idaho. Uh, technically, today would have been uh, going over Fleecer Ridge, which I was really looking forward to. But since it's been raining all night and all morning and it continues to rain and we have thunderstorms predicted for noon, I, I'm just gonna have to skip it. It's just not worth the risk solo. Um, and as much flexibility as I'm losing wearing these rain pants, getting on and off the bike on the on the street is challenging enough right now. So I'll be sticking to the bypass, the same one that Brady, Meerkat EDV wrote. Um, so I'll just basically be following his route exact today. Um, I was really looking forward to Fleecer. I was gonna film with the drone just to see how steep it is, but the soil is gonna be super soft and it's just not worth the risk for me right now. Total distance for today should be somewhere around 170 miles. Um, let's see how much we can get done before it starts getting a little darker. to the continental divide seems to be less than a mile to off to the side I'm sure this is a beautiful area when there's a little more Sun coming out can't wait for it to get dry to get out of this rain gear start riding like a normal human being again but gotta embrace the suck too right That's interesting. So, <laughs> there's uh, scarecrows hanging from nooses here in the woods. Kind of weird. This feels pretty slippery. Some great views between the trees. Not sure that can be seen on camera, but we're getting pretty high up there too, 6,600 feet. So we're constantly climbing, getting into the foggy layer here. Uh, temperatures have dropped a bit. We're in the 40s. You know, sometimes I gotta remind myself to not get caught up in like the negative. Uh, of the moment when like the weather sucks. I'm uncomfortable in my rain gear uh, I wish I could drive here in sunshine, but just kind of remind myself that I'm still on this really awesome adventure uh, Doing it solo and just being out in basically the wilderness uh, Gotta keep gotta keep that in mind. Don't let the little things get to you. It's still an awesome trip.
Oh dear. It's a young buck. <laughs> Gorgeous. So we are actually on the Continental Divide official trail right now. And it is absolutely stunning. Even in the fog and wet. Amazing. This really reminds me a lot of Section 7 in the Wyoming BDR. Which was also wet coincidentally when we were there. It was way worse slipperiness wise, but it was through the big Horton Mountains of Wyoming, so we're still quite a bit north of that. And we're still in the forties here. Well look at that! The weather is clearing up, I can't believe it. Oh, nice. And we're gonna cross I-15 here shortly. Yeah. And we're going under I-15. That's kind of cool. Looks like the road is a little drier here. Never know how deep these things are. It's always tempting to just kind of blaze through, but no, not today. Alright, looks like we're going to be back on pavement for a little bit. a short couple of miles on 15 and we're going back on small road and then dirt um, bypassing Fleece Ridge which I'm a little disappointed by but I don't know it's better than crashing down the entire hill solo Guy does not see me. Okay. Thank you. Took a little bit, but I mean, I'm a guest here, so <laughs> I'm not judging the old guys for not being able to hear well anymore.
Alright, trail up ahead looks a little bit rougher, so probably a good time to put on different pair of pants. Alright, finally got rid of the rain gear. <laughs> Feels so much better being able to stretch my legs over the bike again. <sighs> Feel like a human again. Proper trail. Nice. <laughs> a little bit of a punch to it, huh? Beautiful. Look at this view. Oh, that's awesome. Just a little slippery still. And there's some serious freaking ruts here. Mountain cows. Ooh. There you go. Ooh, it's getting this rut. Oh, okay. There you go. Now this is very Colorado-esque as far as trails go. So I'm used to riding these suckers. Ooh, that was a, just a little slippery. Oh, what a gorgeous area. Definitely reminds me of Colorado here. Tree. Just enough space I left to bring out the saw or the machete or even the 10 mil to shoot it to bits. Yeah, I'm glad I kind of went around Fleecer Ridge. One, this is beautiful, so no complaints. I'm missing anything gorgeous. And two, everything is still really wet and muddy. And even here, these steepnesses are nothing compared to Fleecer. It's still um, a little bit of a challenge. Making sure the bike doesn't slip. Uh, this is really muddy here too. Don't go in the rut. Oh, there you go. Today is also the last full day for, for me in Mon Montana. Uh, our destination is Salmon, which is actually in Idaho. Uh, tomorrow I'll be driving a little bit through Montana, 
uh, but not too much. Uh, just enough to get over to Island Park, Idaho. That's just outside of uh, West Yellowstone. I was just about to grab the drone, but I can feel raindrops again. <sighs> Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get out of the rain. It is windy and cool, so even a light sprinkle is going to eventually dampen my stuff enough that I'm going to be freezing, so... I'll just have to suck it up and put on the rain gear if it gets any worse. Rain gear is on again. Oh, shit. Forgot to get the straps. Alright. I would have been upset if I lost these. Looks like I missed a turn off. Um, so I turned around, but the only thing I can remember being up there is a completely closed off trail. It's had no motorized traffic. So, heading back there to see if that's what it is or if I just missed something. And if it is closed up, I'm gonna have to do some looking around and seeing how I could change this route up to to get back where I'm supposed to be so yeah shit this is it close to motorized vehicles It looks like I'm going to have to go the entire way back that I came. Because there is no, no other way to really do this. So, having to backtrack a lot of time, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, man, I still have so much to write today. And now turning around is really going to... Make some problems here for me. But nothing I can do, so let's keep on trucking. Well, I just brought out another um, map to look if I can find any other way. And it looks like there's a route that goes down this way which I earlier turned on to. I had no idea anything about the route, but it takes us straight to where we need to be. So I think I'm gonna go down that way and check it out. This road does not show up on my normal maps. It doesn't show up on Garmin, it doesn't show up on Gaia. It did show up on a map, a PDF version of a paper map that I have of Montana. Um, so, Technically, this should get lead us down directly to the Continental Divide and then cut back to the main trail. But, um, I mean, it looks well-traveled enough. It's just curious that it doesn't show the map, so we'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully it's not close because then we'll have to backtrack even more. And if I look at the map, <laughs> it looks like we made no progress at all today. We're still really close to Butte. Uh, still got a, a long way to go down towards Salmon and it is already 1.30 in the afternoon So I mean we, we, We're playing the cards we're dealt so It's the part of, it's part of the adventure. That's the adventure part right here. So uh, 
do it. Well, that was a fail. Because, well, I don't think vehicle must not exceed trail width. Oh boy, okay, so we could go down there, but it's an ATV trail. I could that could get adventures. I just don't know what I should do here. Because if this goes really hard, I'm gonna have an issue. Wish I had another layer. <sighs> no cell reception, of course, either. But the terrain looks pretty rough. Alright, I think we'll have to turn around, unfortunately. It, it is pretty steep, it is very tight. Going down on it is easy, but if I have to turn around solo late in the day, rain, not a great combination. <sighs> Alright, well, we tried, so let's turn around and head back up there. I made it off that trail uh, where with a dead end. Uh, cost me about an hour and a half in total, uh, maybe a little bit more. So now I'm heading back towards I-15. I'll take that for a few miles down towards where we're supposed to turn off for Fleezer uh, Ridge um, and take the road bypass to Fleezer Ridge to cut back onto the main trail that takes you towards uh, that national battlefield area and then into Idaho. So it is getting pretty late. I'm kind of concerned with time. Um, usually I would just say I'm going back to Butte and just call this day a loss and wait till tomorrow till everything is dry. The problem is today is Memorial Day. So I already have reservation in Idaho place in Idaho that are I'm going to lose and then Finding something new to stay is gonna cost a fortune. So I'm gonna just try to hardball it to salmon and see how things go. Um, yeah, I'll I'll check back in later again. All right, a few miles down I-15. Now we're heading towards Divide along Highway 43. That should take us back onto the main route as well, hopefully. It is almost 3 o'clock, so I am running a little low on time and we have a lot of miles to cover. I just had a really strange thing happen to me. Um, all of my satellite devices, so two Garmin's and the tablet running Gaia, all of them lost signal. And all of them lost signal for 30 minutes. Um, even though I restarted them, uh, went out the application, they all three lost GPS at the same time. Um, so I had to kind of backtrack and figure out where I needed to go. Uh, so we're back on the way to Salmon. Should be in about another hour and a half or so.
I kind of wanted to take the fast route to Salmon due to the weather and the muddy conditions, but I wound up on the, on the actual trail anyways. Uh, so that's probably going to delay me uh, by a bit. So we'll, we'll see what time we'll finally get, get to Salmon. Because this is pretty slippery too. That was close. This is getting very muddy. It's probably which line look I ain't they all look crappy. So slippery. I <laughs> should have stayed on the road. Oh. <sighs> it's very muddy, very slippery everywhere. Even where it looks dry, trust me, it's just a very top, like a millimeter thick dry thing, and underneath it's some muddy. Schrodinger's mud. Got a few more miles of this before turning back onto the road. It's free out here though. But I just have to focus too hard on uh, not eating Beep. that. I can't really look around all that much. Got about another five miles of this trail. It's been going pretty well even though it's slippery. It's very pretty out here, very remote. A lot of cows. Like how it hurts. <laughs> Always wait till the last second to escape. And these ranches out here are extremely remote. <sighs> it's amazing, but I wonder how these people manage the everyday stuff. Especially in the winter. Oh, we got a little doggy. Hey puppy. That was a nice two tracks. I'm glad I took this little. I, I, I stopped my original plan of going to taking the road directly to Salmon. This is fun, this is beautiful, it's relaxing. And the sun is shining. Still cold, but. 
beautiful afternoon. Uh, okay, we got a gate. Can I open this gate? Okay, yes, I can. Uh, for the second I thought I would have to backtrack 25 miles of mud road. Even rewarded with the rickety bridge. Does it not look that awesome? <laughs> Woo. Definitely not a well-traveled trail here. Sketchy bridge. Must have been that locked gate. Not sure where this track is going. my breathing. A lot of work. <sighs> it really is getting less and less and less travel this place. That gate is open. Alright, let's see if we can continue from here without any more gates. That's a really cool little side trip here. 
Hey cow. Don't run in front of me like that. Uh, we should almost be out of the highway here. Another three miles. I just got to the end of this trail after like 25 miles. And after these 25 miles, it just it stopped at the lock gate. If I can't go through, so I'm going to have to backtrack everything. Everything. What a, what a nightmare. I mean, it's a beautiful area here, but my low gas light is on. I, I don't even know what to say. Trolls trying to make my way back to the highway in your wisdom. Uh, ran into a farmer, he told me the road that's actually on the GPS files. Uh, in this case, from Meerkat. I don't know if the other uh, roads are going through the same section, but it's a private road. Since the 50s, it shouldn't be on the map. It's open. Um, I guess you, as I told her, you earlier, it, I was 20 feet from the highway and the gate was locked with two locks. So I've been backtracking ever since. I'm going to lose like an hour and a half at least. Um, probably more than that uh, altogether to try to get the salmon. So after this one, there's like a, one other section that could take you to salmon off road, but I'm going to have to skip it. Um, I just don't have the time and the energy anymore uh, to keep going. Uh, so. I'll head down towards Salmon and go from there. Made it back on the highway, but I'm heading a couple miles the opposite direction to Wisdom to get some gas. My gas light's been on for a little while. It was over 40 miles still to Wisdom, so I'm not gonna chance it. So I'm gonna get that gas up and keep heading towards Salmon. Uh, then hopefully get some food and some desperately needed rest. <laughs> I'm coming from Canada. Oh, right on. Right on. You just pulled me past here? Yeah, just kind of backtracking through the backcountry. Go well, riding the Continental Divide for a couple of weeks. Right just you? Yeah, just soloing. Is this a steering dampener? Yeah, steering dampener from oh Scott's. Oh my gosh. This is a Husky 701 with a rally kit. Wow. Did you have to kind of put the rally kit on it? Yeah, I put yeah. everything to it. Yeah, I love it. It's a great off-road companion. <laughs> it's almost better than the Tenere, dude. Oh, it is oh, better because it, it, it weighs 100 pounds less. Yeah, this thing's <laughs> sick. We're at the border, going into Idaho. Hope it is drier here, although we'll only be spending a little bit of time in Idaho. It's going to be most uh, tomorrow and then uh, a little bit more Montana and then back into Idaho. Still on my way to Salmon, about to hit North Fork. Um, as soon as I got into Idaho, it started getting significantly nicer as far as like temperatures, weather goes. Everything is dry here, it's sunny, 66 degrees, which is perfect. Oh, 
I have heard, and it's such a beautiful area. I'm sad I missed out on this little off-road section, but it would have taken another few hours. It would have gotten dark. It just wasn't going to be a good idea, so. But it's a nice way to close out the day with some nice warmer temps. This beautiful landscape out here. Really pretty out here. I made it to salmon. What a day. Full of challenging things, frustrating things, and I saw an amazing landscape. I'll, I'll, I'll try to my best to do a debrief later uh, in detail, but first things first, I'm gonna unpack, take a shower, find something to eat, and some to drink. Well, let's find the stagecoach in hotel. The stagecoach in. Guess that's it here. in Butte, um, just kept raining all day, all night, and kept looking at the weather reports as, like, oh, it's gonna stop raining at 8, at 9, at 10, and it just kept climbing and climbing and climbing, so figured, uh, I'll have to go one way or the other, so let's just knock it out. Uh, so put my rain gear on, the bike tipped over twice in the parking lot, just trying to get on with the rain gear. Uh, so I was already kind of in a bad mood in the morning. I haven't crashed a single time yet, but the bike tipped over from not being able to lift my leg over the damn bike. Uh, but yeah, left, uh, Butte. It was, it just kept on raining. The ground was pretty mushy. Initially, it was just a little bit of muddy and then it just turned more muddy and slippery. And I was really looking forward to Fleecer Ridge. I went to film with my drone. I was excited for it because everybody keeps talking about it since it was supposed to be so extremely steep. But with all the rain, there was just no way I could I could do that solo. Um, it was just too risky. So then took that big diversion around following the the other route from your cat ADV. Um, then an hour and a half, two hours in that route already. Uh, gate was locked. Well, not locked, but it was one of those forced wooden barriers, forced wooden barriers that just blocked the entire path, kind of like a restoration project thing. Um, that that felt pretty bad. And then I, I kept going a little bit further just to see where the alternative path that kept on would lead, but that led into like a really narrow ATV track that was super steep and rocky. And I didn't really know where it was went. And it just looked like one of those things with my rain gear on, having to try to turn the bike around and myself around and going up that steep slope, which 
no, I didn't want to do that. So I went back. Um, the way back was actually way tougher than the way to, because it was fairly steep downhill, lots of really deep, muddy ruts, almost ate shit a couple of times, but somehow managed. And then from there, jumped on I-15, um, did a few miles down the highway to turn off into Weiss River and just take, the plan was basically taking the, the highway section into Salmon, which was still a long way to go from there. Um, after about an hour of highway riding or so, um, right before Wisdom, Montana, yeah, um, uh, all my navigation systems went out, the satellite connection severed. So between the triple tech tablet, running Gaia, that went lost signal. The, both of my Garmin devices lost signal, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, it was for about 30 minutes and I didn't really look ahead of a good luck at the map at that time <laughs> because I was already worn out. So I just kind of blindly followed the map a little bit. So I turned around because I thought I missed the turn off and the turn off still wasn't coming. So I just pulled over on a, on a random dirt road just to kind of situate myself and pull out um, maybe a paper map or something that I carry. But suddenly the government devices got signaled back and I just happened to be on the ranch road that was supposed to last maybe 30 miles or so to take me to the highway then that goes into Idaho. So I figured since I'm already there, the, ran, the little road looked okay. It was wide open. It wasn't raining right then and there, so I just went for it. Uh, everything was fine at first. It just turned a little muddy in spots, then more muddy, and then into a, little, a muddy, well, not a muddy mess, not like, like the next few days, but enough that it was annoying and really slowed me down. And those wide ranch roads after a couple of gates that, I mean, they were closed, but they weren't locked. Uh, I just kept following the track, um, opened a couple of gates, it turned into um, two track, and then eventually the road almost disappeared and just kept going and going and going till I finally made it to the side of the highway. So I saw the highway 10 feet in front of me with the last gate got off the bike and saw the gate was locked with two padlocks. Uh, that that was really defeating. Uh, yeah, that, that was bad. So with my ring gear still on, I had to turn around and run back the entire way, basically. Halfway through, I found a rancher um, and asked him for some directions. And he told me there's another shortcut I can take that shaved maybe 20 minutes off the backtracking. So I took that, uh, got into uh, Wisdom, Montana, gassed up, and then went on the road through the pass in Montana that takes you into Idaho uh, near North Fork. Um, as soon as I went over the path and dropped into Idaho, I mean, things got better uh, initially. Uh, it got much warmer, the sun came out, the riding was fun. So I uh, kind of arrived at a high note, even though it was a pretty defeating day with those two turnarounds. Uh, and salmon, uh, grabbed some steak, beer, and just went to sleep.